Our first animation is ready. It's pretty simple, but that's only the beginning. Now we are going to render our project. Rendering is the process of converting the animation into a video file or into a series of still images. Click on this button to open the Render Settings dialog. We'll render our first animation into an AVI file. Type first animation in the file name field and add .avi as the extension. You can also click the Choose button to specify the path for the rendered video. Basically that should be enough. By default, Synfig will use a lossless H.264 codec. This format provides compression without any loss of quality and is a perfect choice if you plan to put your animation in a video editing software for merging scenes or adding sound. But if you need to use a different codec, then use the following actions. Choose FFmpeg from the target drop-down. The Parameters button becomes active. Click it to open another configuration dialog where you can choose the video codec. And the bitrate. In our case, we are pretty happy with the default values, so let's leave everything else as is. At the bottom part of the dialog, we can set parameters like image width and height. Switch to the Time tab to specify the time span you'd like to render. Everything's ready, so just click Render and wait until a message, File Rendered Successfully, appears at the bottom of the Canvas window. The resulting file will be saved in the specified location. To render the project as an animated GIF, add a .gif file extension to the file name and choose Magic++ from the target drop-down. Let's look at the GIF in the specified location. If you'd like to render the current frame as a single ping image, change the file extension to .png. Then switch target to Auto and activate the Render Current Frame Only checkbox. And here's the result. Finally, I'll show one more type of rendering that is often used by professionals when they want to render animation with background transparency. A transparent background allows us to combine animation with other clips or enhance it with effects in editing or compositing applications. In this case, rendering is performed as a sequence of ping images. The settings are the same as when rendering a single frame, except that the Render Current Frame Only checkbox needs to be unchecked. Click Render and wait. In this mode, we also will have compression without any loss of quality. So it's a good option if your video editor doesn't support the H.264 lossless format that we mentioned in the very beginning. The result is a series of images ready for loading into a nonlinear video editor.